Bimba and today we are going to do Act 1 Scene 1 of The Tempest by William Shakespeare. So here I have my Tempest book and let us start. So let me give a short summary which is given here in the book. Act 1 Scene 1 In a violent storm, the sailors are resting with masts and sails to control their ship whose passengers, the King of Naples and his courtiers are adding to the confusion of the Tempest. So let me give some really short points but important points to know what is going to come in this scene. So the play opens with a shipwreck, the passengers are distinguished personalities, they include Alonso. So these are the characters, main characters, Alonso the King of Naples, Sebastian his brother, Antonio, the usurping Duke of Milan, Ferdinand, Alonso's son, and Gonzalo, an honest old counsellor. So, now let, rather, let me tell you where the scene takes place. So the scene takes place in the middle of a shipwreck on the sea. So it starts with a tempestuous noise of thunder and lightning heard. Enter a shipmaster and a boatswain. So this tempestuous noise of thunder and lightning, it is a technical device. So these are called a technical reserve device. And it is necessary to bring in the magic of Prospero. To make one feel as if he or she is in the situation itself. Master, both swing, both swing. Here, master, what cheer? So now let me tell you who is a both swing. So a both swing is a ship officer who is in charge of equipments and crews, and he gives orders to the sailors as and when required. Master, good. Speak to the mariners. Fall to it yearly, or we run ourselves a crown. Be stir, be stir. So good. So this good is not a comment. It's a comment, it's not an answer. So it's not good cheer, it's good that you are here. So like earlier, the boatswain said, what cheer? So it's not good cheer, it is actually a comment saying, good that you are here. Speak to the mariners, fall to it yearly. Yearly means quickly, get on with it smartly. Or we run ourselves aground, we'll be shipwrecked. Be stir, be stir. So be stir means to exert or rouse oneself to take action immediately in a situation. So exit. So who exits the scene? The master. Enter mariners. Both say, hey my hearts, cheerly, cheerly my hearts. So this cheerly means cheerly, that is with a good will. Yeah, yeah, yeah means quick. Take in the top sail. Tend to the master's whistle. Tend means pay attention to the master's whistle. So on board a ship, a master used to blow his whistle to give orders or instructions. So Boatswain says, tend to the master's whistle, to the storm, blow till thou burst thy wind, if room enough. So blow till thou burst thy wind means blow as hard as you like. So the Boatswain is telling the ship, blow as hard as you like, as long as, if room enough, as long as there are no rocks or sandbags. Enter Alonso, Sebastian, Antonio, Ferdinand, Gonzalo and others. Alonso, good boatswain, have care. Where's the master? To the mariners, play the men. So Alonso, the king of Naples, is telling to the boatswain, good, have care, be careful. Where's the master? So you see Alonso was the king of Naples and a boatswain is an ordinary ship officer. So he always talked to one of a higher authority. So he is asking, where's the master? He is not interested in an ordinary boatswain. The mariners play the men. Be good chaps now. Do your work smartly and quickly. Boatswain, I pray now keep below. Now boatswain is in such a dire situation. So he's telling, please, keep to your cadence. Don't disturb us. Antonio, where is the master? Boatswain. So this is, the usual pronunciation of boatswain is actually boatswain. So he said, he says boatswain. Boatswain, do you not hear him? You mar our labour. Keep your cables. You do assist the storm. So the boatswain is irritated. He is doing his work and there are people coming in and telling him, where is the master and where is the master? And he said, do you not hear him? Can't you hear his whistle? You mar our labour. You are disturbing us in our work. Keep your cables. You are assisting the storm. The storm is causing so much trouble. So are you. Gonzalo, nay, good, be patient. So yeah, you see, Gonzalo is an honest old counselor. He's trying to maintain peace. He's saying, nay, good, be patient. Now, the boatswain says, when the sea is. So he says, I'll be patient when the sea is patient. 
Hence, what care sees Rorus for the name of king? To cave in silence, trouble us not. So Rorus are riotous, that is, roaring winds and waters, so they don't care about the king. So why should I? I'll be patient when the sea is patient. Now, don't disturb us. Gonzalo. Good, yet remember whom thou hast aboard. So he's telling, that's good, that's a good attitude, but you should remember whom you hast aboard. You're carrying the king of Naples. Both swing. None there are love more than myself. So it's a really touchy remark by the boatswain. He says, there is no one on board whom I love more than myself. If I save myself, you all will be saved. And now you are disturbing me. So I won't be able to carry on my work of saving myself. So you are risking your life as well. You are a counsellor if you can command these elements to silence and work the peace of the present. We will not hurt the rope more. Use your authority. So he is telling, you are a counsellor. Command these elements to silence. Tell these roaring winds and waters to be silent. If you cannot, if you can, then we will not hand the rope more. That is, we will not do any more work with sails and masts. If you cannot, then you have to keep silent, go to your cabin and not trouble us. He is telling you your authority. You have the authority, you are a counsellor. Command these elements as well. If you cannot, give thanks to your bliss so long and make yourself ready in your cabin for the mischance of the hour if it's up. If you cannot come out, use your authority and command these elements to silence, then you make yourself ready. Prepare yourself physically and spiritually. And you have to give thanks if you have lived so long. Mischance of the art, the mishappening of the art. If it so have, have means happen. To the mariners, cheery good heart. So he's motivating the mariners. Very good. Do like this, do like that. Everything's fine. To the courtiers, out of our way, I say. Exeunt. Gonzalo, I have great comfort from this fellow. So Gonzalo is the only one who is positive all throughout the scene. So it's one of his character. So you can write this point from Stratton's sketch, sketch that he is the only one who is patient and calm and positive throughout the scene. Except at one part which I'll mention a little later. So he is positive and he says, I have great comfort from this fellow. He does not care whether the boatswain is telling him out of my way, go away. He is very positive. Methinks he had no drowning mark upon him. His complexion is perfect gallows. So he says, Gonzalo refers to a proverb that he that is born to be hanged shall not be drowned. So Gonzalo says, I have great comfort from this boatswain. He has no drowning mark upon him. His complexion, that is the attitude and the characteristic are seen in the face. It shows that he'll be hanged, he'll not be drowned. His complexion is perfect gallows. Gallows is where people are hanged. Stand fast, good faith, to his hanging. Make the rope of his destiny up cable. So he says, stand fast, good faith, that is keep true good faith. To his hanging, make the rope of his destiny a cable. So the rope with which he'll be hanged, make it like a cable. For her own that little advantage, that means very little advantage, hardly any difference, it hardly makes any difference to us, but do do that so. If you be not born to be hanged, our case is miserable. Now I said, if the boatswain is not born to be hanged, means he is born to be drowned, then our case is miserable. If the boatswain drowns, then we drown as well. Exhort, enter boatswain, boatswain. Down with the top mask, yeah, lower, 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 bring her to try with main course. So he is giving instructions to the mariners. So the storm is blowing the ship onto the rocks and the sailors must lower the weight aloft to lower the mast to reduce the weight aloft. Keep close to the wind and try to sail out to open sea. So there's a ship and there are rocks and the ship is going, the wind is taking the ship onto the rocks. So he tells to lower the mast so that the weight on the board gets lower and the Ship smoothly moves out to open sea. A cry within. So he's telling it to himself. A cry within. A plague upon this howling. They are louder than the weather or our office. So they means that is the passengers, the royal party. They are louder than the weather. All the mariners and the boatswain and the shipmaster at work. In the Sebastian, Antonio and Gonzalo. Yet again, yet again, you are again here. What are you here? Shall we give over and drown? What, what are you doing here? You have no work here. Do you want us to drown? 
Have your mind to sink. Have your wish to sink. You want to sink. Sebastian, a pox on your throat, you bawling, blasphemous, incharitable dog. So, Sebastian sent me abuses. So, critics have said that it's rather unwanted. It, it seems that unless something has been censored or omitted from the test, because suddenly Sebastian bursts out and says all these languages which he's not supposed to. He abuses about swing. So, bawling means to shout or weep noisily. Blasphemous is one who speaks disrespectfully about God or sacred things. So he says a pox on your throat. So pox where the boatswain cannot speak further. Boatswain, work you then. Boatswain says, then why don't you work if you have so much problem? Antonio, hang, curd, hang. So curd means dog. Hang, curd, hang you, horse and insolent noisemaker. So insolent means rude and disrespectful. We are less afraid to be drowned than thou art. So he says, you are shouting so much, you are so much, you are like crying and weeping. It's as if you are much afraid to be drowned than we are. You are obviously afraid, you are much more afraid than us. Gonzalo, I'll warrant him for drowning. So here for means again. So he, Gonzalo stands as a shorty, he warrants that. He will warrant the boatswain for drowning. That the boatsman will never drown, even though, though the ship were no stronger than a nutshell. So nutshell is very weak and as leaky as an unstanched wench. So wench means a girl and unstanched wench means a girl whose bearing is unstopped. Boatsman, lay her a hold, a hold. Set your two horses off to sea again. Lay her off. So, he, uh, so the boatsman is again giving the instruction. Lower the mast, try more sails, so as to reduce the weight, so that they can move out to open sea. Enter mariners wet. Mariners, or lost, to prayers, to prayers, or lost. Exxon. So the mariners are also very distressed, they have lost hope. Both swing. What? Must our mouths be cold? So cold in the mouth is a proverb and it means dead. Or it could be perhaps that the boatswain takes a swig from his bottle. Cold mouth. Gonzalo, the king and prince at prayers, let's assist them, for our case is their stairs. So Ferdinand and Alonso, they are at prayers. So Gonzalo says, they are at prayers, let us go and join them as well. Sebastian, I am out of patience. Antonio, we are merely cheated of our lives by drunkards. So like I just said, perhaps the boatswain takes a swig from his bottle, provoking Antonio and Sebastian's anger still further. So he calls a drunk, calls him a drunkard. This white chalk rascal. So white chalk means big mouth. It talks a lot. Would thou mind this light drowning? The washing of ten tides. So washing of ten tides. That is the usual punishment for pirates was to be left hanging at the low water mark until three tides had washed over them. And now he says the punishment for boats will not be three tides. It will be ten tides. Gonzalo, he'll be hanged yet. Gonzalo is still standing firm. He will still be hanged. He will not be drowned. Though every drop of water swear against it and gave at pits to glut him. Even though every single drop of water in the sea says that I will glut, I will swallow. Glut means swallow and engulf the boatswain. The boatswain will not drown. He will be hanged. Now, like I was telling earlier, Gonzalo is confused. He was positive and standing firm throughout the scene, but now he himself is doubtful. He is confused. A confused noise within. Mercy on us. We split, we split. Farewell my wife and children. Farewell brother. We split, we split, we split. So he is bidding goodbye to everyone. To his wife, children, brother. He is doubtful. He has a small hint of doubt whether they will survive or not. Antonio, let's all sing with the king. So let us go and Drowned with the king. Sebastian, let's take leave of him. Let's bid him goodbye. Exit with Antonio. Gonzalo, now would I give a thousand furlongs a sea for an acre of barren ground. So furlong is a unit of measurement and it is equivalent to 125 miles. So he says I would give a thousand furlongs a sea just for an acre of not a rich and lush ground but even for a barren ground because they are getting shipwrecked. So even for 
an acre of barren ground, you would give 125 miles, 1000 furlongs of seed. Long heath, ground furs, anything. So brown furs means heather and gorse. And heather is a shrub with small purple flowers and gorse is a yellow flowered prickly plant. Long heath, ground furs, anything. The will's above be done. So it's God's will whether he'll survive or not, whether they'll survive or not. But I would fain die or try then. So fain means I would like to. So he's doubtful and said, Rest is God's will, but I on my part would like to die a dry death. That is, he would not like to be drowned. Exit. So it was a short scene and it's over. Now moving on to the character sketch. So this is an exposition scene. I've written it here on my board because it's really important. It's one of the major parts of the scene that this and Act 1 scene 2 is an exposition scene. And now what do you mean by exposition scene? Exposition because all the characters and the tempest, the title of the book is The Tempest. It's introduced in the first scene. <coughs> Alonso, Sebastian, Boatswain, all the major characters are introduced. And in the next scene, we know we get to know why this tempest was raised. So, this is a really important scene. All the major characters, themes, and suddenly it's, it's, a re it's rarely a Shakespearean style to start something in the middle of a tragedy. <coughs> so it starts suddenly in the middle of a shipwreck with thunder, lightning, everyone in distress, crying and so much havoc created. So, so it's an exposition scene, characters, Boatswain. So Boatswain is the only one who interacts with everyone in the scene, be it with Alonso, Antonio, Sebastian, Gonzalo. Ferdinand is not introduced, he is only said to enter and exit, but he is not really introduced in person in this scene. Then Gonzalo, honest old counsellor, he is positive, firm throughout the scene. Antonio is very cursing and abusive along with Sebastian, they seem to complement each other really well. So they do not believe that Boatswain is the only one who has any authority right now. When their lives are in danger, he still believes in hierarchy. He wants to talk to the master, not listening to the orders. Okay. Now, question bank. So I have, so here I have a really important question from the scene. That is, bring up the dramatic significance of the opening scene of this tempest. So you can note it down. I'll tell you the answer. So dramatic significance. You can mention how the scene starts, abrupt start. Exposition scene, the characters, their nature, where the scene takes place. And this is a very good line we can note down. Act 1 scene 1. The first scene is realistic, creating out of nothing the full force of a storm at sea and the confusion of a ship in distress. There's so much confusion, there's so much distress. It's, it seems really realistic with the help of those technical devices. Stage directions call for thunder and lightning and the clipped economy. Clipped economy means scarce resources which are present. The mass sales of the prose generates instant urgency. So much orders, blow till the buzz have been enough. Yeah, yeah, be stir, be stir. Quick. Tell us about the urgency of the scene. Fall to it really, a master of opening scenes. Shakespeare follows in follows his own instructions. The tempest begins in the middle of a crisis and the catastrophe is achieved in fewer than 100 lines. But the final throws of a sinking ship are only a small part of the play's achievement. With the entry of the royal passengers, there is a clash of language, manners and priorities which serves to establish the personalities of most of the play's characters. So language, both Wayne's language, his drinking, and Sebastian and Antonio's cursive language, manners, both means casual, colloquial manners, and the authentic and eloquent manners of the royal party. And priorities, master's priority over the both swing, which serves to establish the personalities of most of the play's characters. Alonso's curtsy is quite out of place in this situation. And Gonzalo's insistence, insistence on decorum. Remember whom thou hast aboard, nay good be patient, is meaningless. Proper respect is due only to these elements, 
the winds and waters, the boatswain, the mariners, the shipmaster, the sailors, all men are equal at time like this and the boatswain alone has any authority. Alonso seems to recognize this, retiring with Ferdinand to the cabin. He does not engage in this trivial fights with the boatswain. He retires to his cabin at, to prayer. Where they are later to be joined at prayers by Gonzalo, the old counsellor maintains a cheerful good humour to the end. Unlike the younger men, that is Sebastian and Antonio, of the royal party, whose response is only to cast blame on the striving shipmen, Gonzalo has the last word, I would fain die a dry death. So, first scene is important, exposition scene. This is the most important part. And now, if you have... If you want any more videos on any other chapters, please mention the comment section below and I will try to make it happen. And if you found this video helpful, then do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.